Of course the Bravo family hates me. Of course they do, and I'm so glad for that. You want to know why? Because if they accepted me, then that would mean that I was just as fucked up as them. That I was just as toxic. Yeah. I'm not into sitting around a table and fucking tearing everybody down for funsies. You know? I'm not into gossip and I'm not into fucking playing this, you know, backhanded compliment covert fucking dig game that they play. So I'm glad that they hate me. And it says a lot about me as a person. Have, have you spent any time with them? All I gotta do is fucking start talking. You, you know, everybody's gonna know what the fuck I'm talking about. Despite, you know, this false facade that they portray outside, outside of the home, you know? The Bravo family and I are, are made of different shit and, you know, like I said, if they found me to be an acceptable member of their family, then I would have a lot of work to do in therapy as well, wouldn't I? Yes, I would. They are the most envious motherfuckers, man. They fucking, you know, listen to this. Some fucking shit would happen. Like, say something good happened to somebody. I don't know what the fuck happened. Something good happened to someone that Arlene, my mother-in-law, knew. And she said, why can't that be us? Why can't we, that happen to us? We haven't hurt anyone. Like, she can't fucking be happy for anyone else's happiness. You know? Why not us? It's fucked up. So, yeah. That that doesn't make me look bad that they hate me. Believe me. That makes me look good. You're not hurting me, man. I'm fucking desperate. 